Who's going to do the invocation? All righty. Uh, good evening, everyone. At this point, I'd like to go ahead and make a motion to adjourn. There's no, we are, there's no, um, there was no actual activity to report out of the uh, study session. So I'll go ahead and make a motion uh, to uh, close the study session. That's my motion. Is there a second. Second? Se second by Councilmember Ricardo Pacheco. Any objections? Seeing none, so move. Okay. <laughs> it's not, this. He's not even here. Oh, didn't I say your name? You did. Okay. All right. It's so, okay. They got uh, it. <laughs> all right. So at this point, no objections. Uh, the, uh, the study session meeting is closed. Right. At this point, I'd like to open up the uh, Baldwin Park. Excuse me. At this point, I'd like to open up the Baldwin Park City Council regular meeting with the Finance and the Housing Authority uh, concurrently. So uh, at this point, I'm not certain. We'll go ahead and have uh, Council Member Ricardo Pacheco lead us in an invocation. So I will ask all those that are able to stand to please uh, do so at this time. Thank you. Uh, thank you. If you can all please uh, bow your heads. Heavenly Father, uh, please uh, watch over our, our world as many uh, things are happening and occurring, natural disasters and wars that are occurring. Protect those people that protect us, our, our soldiers, those that are in the line and putting out their lives for us, our firefighters, uh, our police officers, all those first responders that are out in the community. Uh, please, God, watch over them and all our leadership here in, in our city, that they make uh, the right choices for, for our community. And also for all our uh, new police officers, keep them in mind, Lord, as they patrol our cities for the next few years that, uh, and, and they watch over their families and themselves, that they, uh, that, Lord, that you protect them from uh, everything that's out there. Amen. Amen. Thank you. At this point, we'll face the flag and say the Pledge of Allegiance. So I will ask everyone to please place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and good evening. At this point, I will ask uh, our city um, the clerk, Ms. Jean M. Ayala, to uh, lead us in the roll call. Councilmember Alejandra Avila. Councilmember Paul Hernandez. Present. Councilmember Ricardo Pacheco. Present. Mayor Pro Tem Monica Garcia. Here. And Mayor Manuel Lozano. Present. Thank you very much. Before we go on, I want to uh, close on behalf of a long uh, term, uh, long term resident of the city of Ballon Park, uh, Ms. Josephine Josie uh, Rivera, who is extremely active in our senior citizens. Uh, um, Club for many, many years, uh, attended her funeral services and very active, has always attended the, uh, the senior um, proms every year and helping out, assisting the staff there, and she passed. Uh, what a beautiful uh, woman she was, a beautiful family, so our condolences goes out uh, to the family. Uh, on behalf of the city of Baldwin Park, if we could send a letter, if we could get their address to uh, send that over to the family. I want to also um, recognize our city treasurer, Ms. Maria Contreras, nice to have you here. And also thank you, Ms. Uh, Ms. Esther Washington, thank you for being here, assisting us as well, for the uh, assistant, uh, our deputy city clerk that's not present uh, with us today. All right, council members wishing to close on anyone's behalf? Alrighty, so uh, at this point we're going to go ahead and into the uh, presentations. Um, the first one that we have is the LA County Certificate of uh, Commendation to the City of Balm Park for participating in the 2019 uh, Champion for West Nile Virus uh, Presentation Challenge. So uh, uh, Vice Mayor Monica Garcia and I attended last Tuesday uh, the Los Angeles County Supervisor Hilda Solis and of course the entire uh, supervisors are recognizing the cities in the San Gabriel Valley uh, for participants. So at this point, I'll ask the vice mayor, do you want to go ahead and read that or is it super long? No, it's okay, not. Thank it's, you. I mean, basically, we were recognized for our efforts in raising awareness on um, the um, West Nile virus and taking preventative measures here in our community. Um, that's so important. And I know that our staff was working on this. And so we received the, the recognition on behalf of the city, but we absolutely wanted to uh, recognize our staff who worked diligently, you know, posting 
um, through social media and other media outlets, including announcements throughout the community. And for those of you who have been following West Nile, Nile virus, um, I mean, it is a very serious public health concern. Uh, I actually have a friend that was affected by the West Nile. She was very vulnerable. She had uh, been a kidney transplant, and she fell into a coma, unfortunately, after um, contracting the West Nile virus. Uh, not in the city of Baldwin Park, but a couple of years ago. So it is a very serious public health concern, and it is, you know, it has a lot to do with public safety as well. So we just wanted to, um, you know, recognize our staff and uh, for all the hard work. I mean, the, our staff works so hard across every department. There is such a level of commitment. And so it was nice to see that the county supervisors um, also saw that commitment. And, and they recognized, I think, about a dozen cities across LA County and Baldwin Park being one, thanks to the efforts of staff. So at this point, let me um, bring up Recreation and Community Services. And Manny Carillo is our director. And then um, if we have any staff, we, I'd also like to ask Jason Palenza. Yes, he is here. To come on up, and then any rec and par rec recreation and community services is what it's called technically here. So anybody else? That's it. Vanessa? Don't be shy. Come on, wait. I think I see Helen. My eyes are not that great. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, staff. Yes. Then it went my camera. That there you go. Whose oh, camera? I don't know. I don't. With that, that cell phone right there. Oh, la patada. We'll be right with you guys. I'm on us. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> you know, let me let me get this. Thank you, Jason. With my chair. Okay. Uh, that one's where's the legal counsel at? City attorney, where do you go? Suerte. All right. 
All righty, so uh, what I will do at this point, <laughs> we're going to bring up the uh, newly um, hired uh, police officers. And first of all, Chief McLean, thank you very much. I want to thank um, all the officers, uh, the administrative level as well, that have made this uh, this evening a very, a very uh, um, interesting for one, because of course we're adding more law enforcement officers to the ballpark uh, police department. So I want to thank you and thank all the family members that are, that are present as well. The first um, Bomb Park Police Officer we'll bring up is Mr. Douglas Griffin, Jr. <laughs> Mr. Douglas uh, Griffin, Jr. is 29 years old and our recent hired police officer. He, serves, he served in the United States Air Force Reserve. Douglas enjoys spending time with his family, reading and playing video games. He hopes to be the top 10 uh, portrait player for 2020. He's a member of class of 202 from Rio Honda Police Academy. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Griffin. <laughs> the next officer is Mr. Carlos Bonilla. Mr. Carlos Bonilla is our new uh, police officer. Carlos has two associate degrees from Mount San Antonio College. He was an electrician prior to being a police officer. He attends the Rio Hondo Police Academy class of two, 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 excuse me, 208. Carlos was recently uh, married at uh, two, and 216 2020 to his wife, Esther. Is she here? Where's Esther at? The wife not here? Okay, all righty. Okay. <laughs> hey, they newly, they just got married. Okay. Um, his hobbies, his, his hobbies are antique uh, playing sports, and he has considered himself a uh, fruity. So thank you very much, Mr. Bonilla. <laughs> Next officer is Mr. Borman Ali. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Marvin Ali is a new police officer from Los Angeles. He is a proud uh, banana slug, uh, having graduated from, from UC Santa, Santa Cruz. He is a Rio Honda Police Academy class of 208 graduate. He is fluent in five languages. Wow, Darcy, Farsi, Hindi, Oran, and English. Marvin plays basketball, and his uh, proudest achievements, aside from becoming a ballpark police officer, uh, was uh, slamming the basketball during a competitive pickup game. Whoa, awesome. All right, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Officer and Morby, you're going to have to get together with some of our uh, competitor basketball players out in Morgan Park. We'll have to set that up for you. All right. Thank you. All right. So the next one we're going to call up here is Mr. Kevin Ramirez. <laughs> Mr. Kevin Ramirez is a Ballon Park native, having graduated from Sierra Vista High School and has been a Ballon Park, Ballon Park school police officer explorer. Ball Park, uh, excuse me, sorry about that, and also a Marine Corps Reserve where he serves as an infantry rifleman. Kevin is a bilingual in Spanish and English. He enjoys spending time with his girlfriend, Cristina Cabrera, drawing, hiking, and walking on the beach. Thank you, Officer Kevin Ramirez. <laughs> Officer Steven Trinidad. Thank you. Well, this is interesting. We have one from Sierra Vista High School and from Ball Park High School graduate. Okay, so, so, so Stephen Trinidad. Stephen is, is also a Ball Park native who graduated from Ball Park High School. He is joined by his girlfriend, Alexa, and his family. Stephen's proudest moments, aside from becoming a police officer for his hometown, was, was beating, Sierra, beating Sierra Vista High School and when he played football for Ball Park High School. Stephen is a graduate from California State University, Los Angeles, where he earned his business administration bachelor's degree. Stephen is bilingual in Spanish and English. Stephen likes to watch classic movies and spends time with his family. So, Sierra Vista, Ball Park High School. Interesting. <laughs> Just to, just to mention, it's interesting now we have two, two rival high schools that are excellent high schools. Uh, the Vice Mayor, Monica Garcia, is a graduate from Ball Park High School. And then Council, Council Alejandra Ives is a graduate from Sierra Vista High School. So two there, two here. And Marie from Santa 
All right. Oh, that's right. Marie Contreras, our city treasurer, Sierra Vista High School. All right. So at this point, I will now go ahead and step down to where the officers are at, and we'll do the uh, sworn-in ceremony. Uh, so at this point, I'll ask the uh, uh, chief as well to join me, the officers. Thank you. I'll ask the city councils to join me. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and swear in all the officers. So I will ask each and every one of you to please raise your hand. And at the end, once I finish, just say, I do, okay? So if you could raise up your right hand. And I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the State of California that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservations or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. I do. Thank you. Congratulations.
come to us. We are going to do a lot, so welcome to the I just want to welcome you and thank you for all part of it. It's very important for yourself and for all of you bring together a lot of different strengths on this journey from everybody. Your bio, all of you just have a lot of wonderful skills and backgrounds that bring to our city. We're going to make our police department very welcome all of you. staff for working so hard I'm off work for
We might want to do after the break up of courses. Maybe, Manny, see we place a new option in the trivia. I mean, the trivia. The, the no. city newsletter. Manny and Leila. So, <laughs> so, so at this point, I guess everyone's going to step over. Chief, they're going to be stepping over to the yard where yes, they have their reception for you. Yes, sir. So thank, thank, every, thank all the family members. Thank you. We're going to continue on. Hopefully, we're done. Today. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go and open up the public communication. Anyone wishing? Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, let's do it after. Let me just open up public communication. We'll move it out. At this point, I'd like to open up the public communication. Anyone wishing to speak? We do have a translator as well. Okay, see no interest. I now declare the public communication closed. All right, let's go ahead and move in. Uh, where's my glasses? Oh, you do? Okay. All right. Yeah, go, no, go ahead. Go to the yard. Go to the yard. How's it roll dance? Come on, let me see. Okay. I'm going to go and open up the public communication. Anyone wishing to speak? Yeah, come on up. How's it roll dance? How, can you get my glasses on, on the counter? With a big tire. Sorry about that. All righty. Welcome. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. Thank you. 
All righty. Good evening, Ellen. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Honorable Council Members. Um, my name is Helen Hernandez, and I'm an employee and a board representative for the Baldwin Park City Employee Association. I've worked in recreation community services for the past 25 years. We realize that a majority of the associations have or will be entering contract negotiations for a successor agreement. Our association today, myself and some of our board, our members here, um, are prioritizing our consistency in pay, benefits, and special compensation. We specifically are looking at longevity pay, where previously two other associations were granted this benefit in the most recent negotiations, and we were neglected from this benefit. Although we understand that every negotiation is unique to each association's needs, we believe that the City Council should make all essential items equivalent to all. We look forward to working with the City's negotiating team, and we thank you for this process. Thank, thank, you, very, thank, well, you. thank you very much to each and every one of you. Thank you. Move along with public communication. Come on up. Good evening. More librarians here. Hello. Good evening, Mayor Lozano, council members, and people of the community. My name is Angelina Sandoval, and I'm here tonight to tell you about the St. John the Baptist Fiesta Raffle. The church is holding a raffle in May. The money will go towards a new roof for the church and hall. I'm a candidate running. I'm as, as well, I'm a St. John student in eighth grade. Student council treasurer, St. John's cheerleader, volleyball team member, altar server for the school, and church. I'm selling raffle tickets for a dollar donation, and your prize could be $5,000, $2,000, or $1,000. If you support me, I can win a scholarship $1,500 towards my high school next year of Bishop Amont. This would help the church and myself. Thank you for your time, and have a great night. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, good evening. Good, good evening. <clears throat> um, it is with great pleasure that I announce that Baldwin Park will be, or the Baldwin Park Library will be among the polling centers for That's the right. extended voting, and we look forward to serving the community both in this event and any future event where we could support support the city. Absolutely. Um, and then on a on a. I know you, you mentioned Taco Bell earlier, um, but Baldwin Park Library on uh, Saturday, February 29th is going to be hosting a Vietnamese street food um, cooking demonstration for adults. So if you're interested, please come and stop by and see yes. us there. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Now, when, when is that? Sorry about that. When is yes? When the is cooking, the actual yeah the event? For the, the the cooking demo is going to be Saturday. Oh, at 11 a.m. So this Saturday, right, the, uh, the 29th. Oh, the 29th. So next okay. Saturday, 11 a.m. Stop in and see us. Vote while you're there. Love to see you guys. I'll be there to eat. No, I'm just saying, but I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> okay. So uh, at this point, we'll end with public communication. Anyone else wishing to speak? All righty. So at this point, uh, I'd like to... Mayor, uh, I just wanted to add... Uh, let me close that out real quick. Okay, good. At this point, I'd like to uh, um, close the uh, public communication. So at this point, well, Mr. Councilmember Ricardo Pacheco, sir. Uh, yes, I just wanted to uh, mention that uh, a former uh, worker, uh, Jorge Canseco, and uh, his son's wife uh, oh, passed yeah. away, Michelle Hernandez, and uh, her funeral will be uh, held this, um, this Friday at the Rock Church in uh, World Outreach Center in San Bernardino. And I just wanted to uh, ask the mayor if he could also uh, close on her behalf and send their family a letter of uh, condolences. Uh, her grandfather, or her father-in-law worked for uh, the city of Baltimore for, uh, for many years. And uh, this is his uh, daughter-in-law that had passed away. So um, she died of cancer very young. She's, probably, she's 41 years old. So hopefully keep her in your prayers and their family. And she left behind, it was, uh, they had three little girls, and uh, they're probably ages eight. They're between eight and 12. So uh, anyways, keep them in your prayers. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Councilman Ricardo. Mayor, Mayor really quick. Yes. I also, uh, I want to thank um, Shannon and, and Manny Carrillo um, and close in memory of Gigi and Kobe Bryant. I was a, a big 
a big, and I always cry when I talk about him, a big fan of Kobe Bryant since he started. So when I found out of his passing, I called Shannon and I called Sorry. Manny and asked him to put it up on, on the billboard and they put it up on the marquee. Uh, so I want to close on behalf of Gigi Kobe and all those that lost their lives on that day. I was one of those that tried to sign up to get tickets, and unfortunately I wasn't able to get tickets. I was put on the waiting list, and I know a lot of us were disappointed. But uh, we did lose a, a great person, a great legend, so I'd like to close on their behalf. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, and thank you for the suggestion of the actual uh, billboard itself. Is that uh, Council Member Alejandra Avila. All right, real quick. So we're going to pull item 19 at the request of the consent calendar, uh, the request of uh, Council Member Alejandra Avila. We're going to pull that to the front. And also Council Member uh, uh, Hernandez has requested we pull items 13 and 14. So let's, uh, from the consent calendar at this point, okay. the reports of officers, that's the one you're, you're, we're going to bring to the front. That uh, Yes, go ahead. And item four, okay, from the consent calendar. So let's go first, and then we'll come back to the consent calendar. Let's go start out with the item 19, which is the uh, reorganization of the city council uh, selection of mayor at Pro Ten. So at this point, that's who's turn, whose turn is it? Councilmember Ricardo Pacheco's? Mayor. Yes, oh, go ahead. Um, actually, I think uh, Councilmember Pacheco served before me, and mm -hmm. then I came this year. Oh. And so I would like to um, uh, make the motion to appoint Councilmember Paul Hernandez. All right. Okay. I'll go ahead and second. Any objections? So then, then the I'm role, sorry. the role. So Mayor Potom. Do you it, accept? <laughs> yeah. I would say my suggestion would be is to ask uh, uh, Councilmember Avila to go first this year, if she wouldn't mind, because if we're going in alphabetical order, um, and then next year I'll I'll take well, it if that's okay. If, I mean. Okay, well, I would, I mean, I made the motion and there was a first and a second, and okay, if second. that's okay. I agree. I agree. Excuse first. me, you don't need a second? You don't need a second, Mayor? I'll take all the nominations and then we do it from there. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right, so at this oh, point, Mayor, uh, I just uh, Vice Mayor, if, Vice I, Mayor if I could ask, um, I mean, we normally just, we do it in, in an order, so I guess would that be his seat would be next? That's fine with me, I mean, I'm not, if, if you want to do it, Paul, or? I'm happy to do it, that's fine. All right, but so I'm at happy this to I'll do it the, next time. Okay. All right. All so, right. Thank you. so that everyone gets equal opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, so at this point, there's a motion. Is there? Are there any objections? Mm -hmm. If not, at this point, then uh, <clears throat> Councilman. Yes. I just want to recommend that we keep that rotation. I know the city clerk mm -hmm. uh, usually keeps a list to make sure that we don't skip anybody. Yes. So yes. Rotation. Thank you very much, Councilmember Alejandro Davila. So at this point, uh, Mr. Paul Hernandez is the vice mayor. All right. Yay. Un aplauso. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. oh, hey, thank you, Miss City Clerk. Guess what? We got your plaque here. All right, so at this time, I'm going to present. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a Chicago efficiency. Uh, we're going to give this to. Like they don't waste any time here. around. Here. Yeah, come on up here. We'll get our photo. Come on up. <laughs> They're like, you, you're out. <laughs> oh, Jean, can you take a photo while you're down there? You, you don't mind? We love you, girl. Okay, Jean, can you get some photos here? Me first. Yeah, that is true. Take several of them. <laughs> can you send me one? No. Oh, come on. Wait, wait, we're waiting for Gina. Where's Marie? Do we need help her? Okay. Need some assistance. That's good. Hold on, let's go down over here. Hi, you guys. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we probably know. Got the scope Congratulations, Paul. Oh, thank you. How are you, Bergen? Good, bro. Come on, come on. Let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Okay, here we go. Thank you. Okay, pull your plaque. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Night shift, night shift, man. Don't you 
Hold on, Jason. Right. Thank Please, you. Man, real quick. Hold on. Send them all around. I'll so we all have commented on that, by the way. <laughs> take several. Take several. You can use the filter. No, no, it does not. It just sets the yeah. tone. So it's not that's so loud. It makes it easier to go to sleep. Yes. Okay. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. All right, thank you very much. All right, let's get going. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is yours. Okay. This is Thank you, Jason. Where's my chair? Thank you. All right, so at this point, let's get going with the agenda here, people, all right? But, uh, Ed Chavez, uh, Operator of San Gabriel, thank you very much for being here. Didn't see you back there. So, thank you. So at this point, let me see. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to pull item uh, uh, 13, which is the approved resolution 2020-003 in consideration of a uh, moratorium of the understand of MOU with uh, Goodwill Southern California to establish a youth employment program. So at this point was pulled by Council Member Vice Mayor uh, Hernandez. And 14. And 14. And 14. Yes. yes Thank yes. you. We're going to, um, again, uh, this just gives us an opportunity to uh, share some of the good work that we're doing here. So I'll ask uh, Elizabeth if she's still here, if she could just kind of... <laughs> And Shia, to kind of go through the, uh, the abbreviated version of the uh, presentation that we had at our study session. Um, and at the same time, I'll also ask uh, for the school board, uh, President uh, Lucero and uh, Dr. Mendoza to also come up and uh, say some words too. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Hunky. I'm the business service coordinator for the East San Gabriel Valley America's Job Center and Bowman Park AJCC. This is Sheila Potter. She's our youth coordinator for the AJCCs as well. Uh, just if you did not know already, we have been in the process with the city. We want to thank the city first for bringing us in. Uh, I want the community to know that, that not all cities have come to us and approached us about programs like this, solidifying it for the so summer program. Uh, we have finalized the name. It's called YES, Youth Employment Services to BP. That's what we're, we came up with uh, on Monday. And then also we have an affiliate site at Bowen Park Adult School. We are coming up on our one-year anniversary come in March. So if the community doesn't know that we're already there, this is our address and phone number for it as well. I'm going to hand it on over to Sheila right now to talk a little bit about all the youth services that we provide. Thank you much. Thank you very much for uh, letting us be here this evening. Um, real quickly to run through the program, we have 14 through 24 years old. These are youth that have barriers from foster youth, homeless, parenting youth on uh, and up. Um, we're working very closely with the community here, especially in the homeless um, liaison with the hotels in the area. Um, that is our biggest focus right now as long as our foster. But we have many other barriers that we do focus on. Um, our whole point of this program is basically to bring them through the levels of career pathways. Um, being that from 18 to 24, we offer 120 uh, one hours, 120 hours, I apologize, in level one, where we provide support services, everything from clothing to transportation, and um, then we do provide a TAYWOW training. Level two is basically a more intensive program to lead them right into their career path, which would be into post-secondary college or um, advanced training as well as um, uh, just a direct grace to a job um, level three parts into it so they keep graduating on as they're uh, keep uh, elevating their career choices um, this goes a little bit in more into detail about the barriers that we do serve um, and then the right documents to qualify. They do have to have the right to work documents. Um, but I do want to highlight one of the programs is for the parents that are incarcerated or they are, um, do not have papers. So this is an area we also focus on. Um, level two is a broader area to qualify, but they do have a lot more support. It is a two year program. Um, we have a TAYWAL class. The TAYWAL class is a pay training of uh, 1424 as long as the whole program, but um, we emphasize very strongly on getting them prepared, ready to go into the workforce, meaning it's a very intense program where these kids, I always say, coming into jeans and t-shirts, walking out in a suit. Um, we're getting them very, very, very prepared with soft skills. Um, so this is a, a awesome thing, and I love to watch them grow, not only in um, soft skills, but their self-esteem. And then I also just want to go into the building partnerships that we have been creating. First of all, with the City of Bowen Park, thank you again for coming to us with this project that we have been coming with. Again, you have the MOU above you um, that we are trying to serve 200 youth in the Bowen Park City. 
as well as with the Bowen Park Unified School District. We spoke with their board last week. We thank you again for inviting us to speak about that as well. We have been in contact with the principals for all three high schools that are also on board. We have met with their counselors and we're setting up different schedules for their, to we'll do more outreach on that part. End. And also the Bowen Park Business Association too is in backing with us to help us recruit for more work sites in the city of Baldwin Park. Um, to let them know that we want to make sure our youth are more informed about what is to come next after the chapter of education and then maybe even get a taste of what their career path will be handling for as well. And we're in the works right now with the memorandum of agreement with them as well. The next steps that we have taken and will be taking, um, again, like I said, we did a district-wide student counselor meeting on, the, on February 3rd along with February 7th. We have met with Sierra Vista High School along with Baldwin Park High School with their counselors. We are solidifying the counselor meetings with North Park High School. We are doing weekly outreach, again, the MOUs that we are solidifying with you as well. And we are solidifying the flyers with the business outreach for orientations that the city has graciously provided some space for us as well with that, along with our student parent orientation dates for May 12th and 16th, just so we let the community know what services we provide. Come July 1st, we pay the students from our funds, and it's gonna be $15 an hour. I don't know about any of you, but when I was <laughs> in high school, I was not making $15 an hour at my part-time job. <laughs> so this is a great opportunity for the students to be in part of our program along with the city and make it more solidified. Not only that, we do not just serve youth, we also serve adult programs too with their career pathways. These are just some of the programs that we offer with adult and dislocated workers. We, if they need some um, assistance with getting some training with electric, electric, electrical training or any certificates, that's why we're co-located with an adult school. That's our goal with the countywide to make sure that the community in City of Baum Park and also San Gabriel Valley to get a little bit more round pipeline to have a healthier economy. Uh, I'm a San Gabriel Valley native and I just want to make sure that my community all over is successful. That's why we're here and we thank you again for bringing us to the table. I don't know if um, anyone wants to Absolutely, if we could have, <laughs> yeah. And as we're walking up here, I just want to just uh, just elaborate um, and just also again thank the school board uh, for their for their support um, because the actual effort that's going behind this, uh, using their existing staff to recruit some of the student to recruit the students uh, through the home liaison uh, and then the counselors and allowing uh, you know the folks to be on site uh, to speak during class time and so forth. Uh, that's a huge commitment. Um, so I do want to thank uh, President Lucetto for, for her commitment and the rest of her school board because uh, they were very much uh, well, well behind this program. Um, and again, also with uh, Dr. Mendoza, uh, you know, the work that you've been doing, uh, you know, ever since we had, a, you know, our coffee in the morning or breakfast, I should say, uh, you know, it's one of those things of I don't think you're ever going to want to have breakfast with me again. Um, <laughs> But I do want to thank you because you're wearing two hats today. And one of the things is also as the chair, chair or president? President. President of the Bowen Park uh, Business Association. Um, you know, this, this can't be done without the businesses. And, you know, with your leadership and using, you know, leveraging uh, our partnership and a collaborative effort, uh, we will hit that goal of 200 this, this year. Um, and I expect to be actually do more than that for next year. And, you know, without a doubt, it goes without saying, you know, with Vanessa, Mike, Manny, um, Carrillo, and of course, Shannon, um, cause they've been, you know, enduring these, uh, you know, biweekly meetings with us in the mornings at eight, eight o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, I'm happy to continue to buy coffee every time because if that's what it takes for us to move forward, uh, that's the easiest investment that I that I can do. Um, but it's a it's a it's a privilege to be part of this program with you guys, and uh, I'm looking forward to having each of our council members, uh, you know, help uh, reach out to new businesses, and but more importantly, uh, look out for students that can enroll into this program. Because again, uh, you know, if you remember your first job. Uh, mine was at four dollars an hour sweeping <laughs> sweeping in a bike shop of all places of course uh, but it's it was very gratifying to you know receive you know my hundred dollar uh, paycheck that I got and I got to spend all that money and keep some of that money and give some of that to my parents not by choice but um, it was very fa satisfying and uh, good experience for me and you know set me up to I guess where I'm at thank you mayor if I may, I, I just um, want to add that that it was an awesome presentation. I really loved it. And it takes me back, years back, when I originally started working with the school district, how we had something similar to that. 
And I remember the kids coming into work in the summer, whether it was a custodian or in the office, and I'm so excited that it is brought back to our students, to our families. I think it's going to be very successful, and I appreciate all the work that everybody has put into this. Thank you. Um, Mayor, I just want to add, uh, I want to thank all of you for your hard work, uh, our council members that you work with. And this collaboration is just fabulous. I think it's awesome that we're able to work as a city with the organization, with the school district, really coming together because these services are really needed uh, in our community. Our youth so much need this type of uh, looking for a place to work. And something more than that, just not just a job, but helps them to grow. And your presentation was wonderful. Our children need to learn uh, the skills of working, all the, as you call them, soft skills, and everything it takes to be able to, to fold into a, a you know, full-time job. So uh, I want to promote it on my half as much as I can, work with everybody, and I'm, I'm all on the team. I want to work with you guys and really make it uh, uh, happen. So just again, I, I, I think it's great. Thank you. I'm very excited that you came out and put this together, and I think it's going to be a great success. Thank you all. All right. Thank you. Well, first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you uh, that are here this evening and passing what I think is going to be a, a phenomenal opportunity for so many youth throughout our community. I want to thank everyone that was involved. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Mayor. Yes. Uh, I also want to say thank you to all that, all everyone who has, you know, come together um, to make this happen for our students and for our youth. And uh, I know that there are some individuals here at the city who started as youth and who have made a career um, because of the opportunity that was given to them. And so that's the impact, impact that you're making. Um, and so I definitely want to recognize that and uh, really you know, give a lot of respect to everybody who came to the table and was willing to partner on this. So um, give you know, a lot of kudos to the count, now Mayor Pro Tem, Paul Hernandez, also for helping to lead the way and then, of course, you know, the, the council here. So yes. thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Councilman Par Hernandez as well. Thank you. Mayor yes, and Mayor, excuse me, that's right. <laughs> Vice Mayor, Vice Mayor Par Hernandez. Thank you, brother. All right, thank you very much. Right. And I do want to add, because, again, I just want to thank both Mayor Pro Tem Hernandez and, and Alejandro Avila being so involved. Um, for me, it's about the fact that this is a true collaborative project. And there's nothing that's going to serve our community better than all of us working together, not just the city council, not just the school district, the business community, because we all have a stake in this. But more than that is the, the way you've worked with us so well, and I am truly appreciative of that. And I just I can't wait to see this grow and continue. And we've been on the map for many things in this community. This is one more thing we can add that is really going to take Ballin Park to that next level. And I just thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Dr. Mendoza. Oh, I, I believe I just want to echo everyone's sentiments. And I do want to say that was a great breakfast place, uh, Mayor Pro Tem <laughs> Hernandez. What you guys um, And I do want to echo. Um, <laughs> I'll take you out. I'll take you out. I'll take very you. quickly that um, this is a model of how we can all work together and, and looking at the same goal and objective. And when we're talking about our youth, it's incredible when we can come together with all these different agencies and really taking um, a step in the right direction in regards to making sure that we're doing what's right for our kids. So with that, thank you so much. And yeah. I really do appreciate the leadership and, and, and taking me to breakfast. That was great. Um, but we, I, I believe that's something that we need to do more often. And I would invite, I, I hope I'm not speaking out of turn here, um, President Lucero, is to really have our organizations come together and maybe have some, some sometimes informal type of meetings, uh, whether it's a breakfast or something else. I think that would do wonders in terms of our collaborations uh, with the city and anyone else, uh, <laughs> any and all organizations. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, good. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And again, this is something that I am thrilled that we have new officers, and I'd love to see that also with them, that I think it's easier to collaborate with someone you know, mm -hmm. and that only happens through the conversations. So I do think informal conversations, get-togethers, La Cocinita is another place really good for breakfast. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, Homemade tortillas. The, the, we have some of the best restaurants in the city. Mm -hmm. I say we just take turns and go to each one at a different time. But again, it's the conversations, yeah. I think, are critical. Walmart. <laughs> okay. Walmart.
Thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Ms. Salazar. Thank you very much as well. Thank you. All right. Okay, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and you want to go ahead and make a motion? Yeah. Paul? Yep. Then we'll have Alejandra second it. Second. Okay, so at this point, any objections? Seeing that, so moved. All right. Thank you. Uh, at this point, we'll go and open up the, uh, by the way, you guys mentioned the minimum wage. I was so happy in two, 1975 when I was a teenager because I was $2.10 an hour. <laughs> I wasn't behind. I wasn't far behind you. Bought myself some Levi's at the end of the month. Okay. May, Mayor, we also had um, <laughs> Council Member Avial pulled off number four, and we're going to do some further legal research on that. Oh, yes. okay. All right. So hold on, hold on. We're talking about consent calendar? Yes. Okay. We'll hold on. Hold on, real quick. Bear, bear with me. All right. So at this point, all right. So at this point, uh, okay, we are pulling out. Hold on. Where's my. Where's my <laughs> hold on, real quick. Okay. Now. Bless you. All right, so at this point, we'll go consent calendar. Con we're moving item number four uh, the, to a, a future meeting. Do we need a motion for that? So at this point, I'll go ahead and make a motion for item four, uh, repeal of the ordinance number 444. So at this point, there's been seconded by uh, Council Member Alejandra Avila. Any objections? See none, so move. So at this point, I'll go ahead and move a consent calendar, consent calendar with the exception, well, we've already done, well, actually, with the exception of number four. That is my motion. Second. Second. Any objections? See not so moved. Mayor, I, I just have a comment, yeah, if I may. Yeah, fine. I just wanted a, a, a number, item number eight. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to pull it, just pass it. Sure, but sure. It's an award of bid for projects uh, on our main street, yes. complete streets. And I just want to uh, uh, just point out that, you know, our city continues to improve our streets throughout the city. Uh, we have $1.7 million that we're spending on our uh I guess it's a main avenue complete streets improvement program. So uh, I want to thank staff for continuing to move forward. I know I drove in around and seen a lot of our streets upgraded. Uh, Ramona Boulevard, that full upgrade. And a lot of our streets are continuing to be uh, paved. So um, just want to point out to the community that your money, our money, our tax dollars are being well spent uh, back here within our community. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Ricardo Pacheco. Well noted. All right. So at this point, we'll go to item 17, which is the public hearing, the consideration of adoption to an extension of the existing uh, city wide more term, a new and uh, expansion of existing massage establishment. So who's handling this, or can we make a motion? Let me go ahead, just unless I have questions we've discussed. This, this, so. this is just to put um, this item on hold until we can take oh. it back to the Planning Commission and get better direction. Oh, let, and let me then open up the public. Let's just do the public Council. hearing now. Yep. And planning yeah. manager Ron Garcia is okay, here that's if you fine. have any questions. At this point, I'll go ahead and open up the, we'll at least do the public hearing. Anyone that's interested to come up uh, in favor of the consideration of adoption extension of existing citywide moratorium on the new expansion of the existing massage establishment. Anyone opposing? Okay, see no interest, and I'll declare the public hearing. At this point, we'll need a motion. Uh, I'll motion, Mayor, to move this item and, and give the extension. Okay, I'll second. Any objections? See none, so moved. All right, so we'll go over to the um, City Council acting as successor agency of the Dissolved Community Development Commission consent calendar. I'll go, uh, go ahead and make a, um, a staff recommends that the board receive and file the treasurer's report for December 2019. That is my motion. Second. Second. Any objections? See none, so moved. Reports of officers, uh, 18 review of commission application, uh, application, applications and consideration of appointment, reappointments to fulfill vacancies at the Planning Commission. I know that there was a mix up, right? Yes, and we brought that back. And um, do you want to look at the report? There was only one. The, 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 I think there was only one that we're considering, uh, uh, Monica, Gar excuse me, Marlene Garcia. Because <laughs> there was only one. If we could just look at that item number 18 so we get clarification. And if you could tell us the five okay. people that you wanted assigned All right, to that so the, the, let me Let me go through. So the Planning Commission, um, the first one, there's five. So that would be Edwin Borkus, who remain, no, uh, Christopher Sainz, oh. Christopher Gardun, Gar, Garin, excuse me, and Edith Flores. And then the nomination was for for uh, Marlene Garcia. That is she my motion. She would take the office yes. number two. Yes, and the rest would correct. remain. Yes, okay? that's correct. Perfect. All right, that's my motion. Okay. Second, and may I jump in? See, none so moved. The rest of you guys want to bring it back? What are the rest? I think that's it. Oh, no, that's it. You're right. Uh, another I was looking at something else. All right. Time. Yeah, thank you very much. So we'll do the swearing in the following. All right, so at this point, um, 
Uh, actually, we're at the end there. Council members wishing to share anything before we go on to the next uh, meeting? Yes, Mayor. Yes. Um, just really quick, I want to commend Sam and his staff. Like uh, Council Member Pacheco said, they are doing an amazing job out there putting our money uh, to work in our city, and you see the difference. And I appreciate everything that you do. I know it's hard work. Um, and it's a lot to follow because I know there's a lot of areas that are hidden, but I know the minute we call you, you're on it, you're looking into fixing whatever the problems are. You and your staff are doing an excellent job, so thank you, Sam. All right, thank you. Very uh, much. Mayor, just a yes. couple of quick announcements. Sure, First, fine. I want to thank the city staff for putting together this uh, a year in review on our ball and park now. Uh, all the updates that we have, all the good improvements that we're doing in our city. And also, if um, we could work closer with some of the uh, faith-based churches for our ball and park counts, I think the census is very important, and we need to make sure that we're continuing to outreach to our community to make sure that everybody uh, participates in that. And on another note, I'd also just like to see a little more uh, push on our code enforcement. There's a lot of um, homes that need a lot of uh, improvement in businesses. And I would like to see staff just kind of work a little harder to, so we could see some of the changes. I know it's a lot of work, but we need to be uh, consistent and sort of um, in, par in par uh, parallel with other cities and how they're doing good in their code enforcement. I think we should kind of push that. And if there could be, um, if, if maybe staff could come back and talk about uh, an organized uh, outreach that we could do with the community to talk about how important code enforcement is. I think sometimes the community feels they're being picked on when you go out there and you're looking at things, but uh, looking at something on somebody's home to improve. But I think if you could sit with the city council and we could talk about our strategies and what's important for us to continue to uh, improve our community would probably be something that we could do in a special study session. Thank you, Mayor. Well, one more thing, Mayor, yes, and he brought up another sure. good subject. Thank you. Um, I recall having a conversation with Ben, not to throw any more things on your plate, Ben, but I, I remember you talked about some cities having incentives for our residents to keep up their yards and maybe keeping up the sidewalks. So maybe um, you can educate us on that. I remember you are you're having great ideas that one time we were doing uh, visits to some facilities. So maybe that's something to look into. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, and I just want to real quick oh, go ahead, go ahead, Vice Mayor. Okay, I just oh, want Vice Mayor, Vice Mayor. <laughs> oh. We'll let her go. We'll let her go. We'll let her go. We'll let her go. Oh, oh. You cut him I off. thought you were mistaking <laughs> me for. <laughs> God, I can't imagine what's going to be ahead. a year from now. No, after you, please. Go ahead. I give go my ahead. time over to you. Sorry, I thought you were looking at me. <laughs> okay, really quick. Um, I also wanted to give you know kudos to staff for uh, just all the work that they've been doing, and and I really want us to work with our media relations person to highlight yes, you know absolutely. so this way that our residents know what what is what the, all the good things that are happening in our city. So I would like to see um, you know like a, a maybe a, a meeting come together with that'd be great. And, uh, you know, with our CEO and media relations person, um, our directors, so that, you know, there can be a more active role and more active presence, um, whether that's working with the Tribune, whether that's on our social media, whether that's through the now. Um, I know that there were a lot of um, pieces like media, you know, coverage on some of our summer concerts, and, and that's great, but I feel like there's so much more beyond that you know, that we need to get the good word out about. So if we can, you know, keep that in mind and, and kind of start working on that, that would be wonderful. And really, it's, I mean, you know, it's, it's not about working or adding more to our plate. It's really just about what, what the city is currently doing and highlighting that, you know? There's yeah, a lot we miss. There is. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, thank you very much, Vice Mayor Hernandez. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Monica. Um, I just uh, just want to reiterate for uh, individuals uh, listening in and, of course, uh, out in the audience, um, for those individuals that have residents that are in, being impacted by uh, your rent increases uh, in regards to living in apartments under the Rent Stabilization Ordinance, um, you know, please contact Ben, uh, or if you can provide the correct number. Uh, there are a lot of people that are receiving some notices, um, and their landlords and or apartment owners, whatever you want to be, um, are not hello, um, are not necessarily uh, 
being 100% um, compliant. So if uh, we could continue to work on that. I know, Ben, if you could kind of share at least, I don't know if you have the dates already for our two outreach efforts that we got, a couple of them. That'd be great. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. So at this point, I want to also, uh, oh. Let's be short, go ahead, Ben. Got a minute. Thank you, Mayor and City Council. Um, the phone number you can reach me at is 626-960-4011, extension 477, related to um, rent control questions or issues. Um, it is looking like our first two outreach meetings related to rent control will be March um, 12th and March 14th. That's a Thursday and a Saturday, the second week in March. So we will be announcing those meetings. So we will do more than that. That's just the beginning. And we will be meeting with both um, separately, but tenants and landlords. Um, ben, will we be sending flyers out or how are you advertising that? Yes. Can we send them out to the school districts? That way um, more families get that information? Yes. Please, thank you. All right. Okay, uh, thank you. And real quick, Jose Martinez, thank you very much. I know you get a lot of calls and he does a phenomenal job. So I just want to recognize him. I know we gave him kudos last time. Uh, so thank you very much. And and and, and, and you know, the, I think Gina Ayala probably calls him all the time, but he does, thank you for that. Uh, so also uh, John, Ron, and Mark, thank you. And everyone as well. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go, I'll move for adjournment of the city council meeting. Second. Yes, any objections, see none, so move. At this point, I'd like to open up the uh, finance authority. Um, a reminder also that the, uh, uh, that the, hold on, where's that? Um, thank you very much. The council, council members are also members of the board of directors of the housing authority and finance authority, which are concurrently uh, convening with the city council this evening. And each council member is paid an additional stipend of $30 for attending the housing authority meeting and $50 for attending the finance authority meeting. All right, thank you very much. At this point, I'd like to move for a consent calendar, uh, the treasurer report. That is my motion. Second by council member Avila. Any objections? See none, so move. At this point, I'd like to move for adjournment of the uh, of, of finance committee. That is my motion. Hello? Okay. Okay, uh, council, uh, seconded by Council Member uh, Alejandra Avila. Any objections? See none, so move. this point, I'd like to open up the Housing Authority, and I'll move for consent calendars items one, which is the Treasurer's Report. That is my motion. Second. Second by Council Member Alejandra Avila. Any objections? See none, so move. At this point, I'd like to move for adjournment of the City of uh, the, the Housing Authority. It's my motion. Second, Second by uh, Council Member Alejandra Avila. Any objections? See none, so move. At this point, good evening. Viva Baldwin Park. Viva Baldwin Park. 826, that's record.